What is up everybody, it's Sir Shred here, back in Scrap Mechanic. Just want to say at the start that, sorry I haven't been posting many videos lately. I've been kind of just putting off recording until I get my new computer, which is going to be arriving on Friday. So yeah, that's why there hasn't been much content on the channel lately. Give it a few days and I should hopefully be back to posting every day, as well as playing a few, a few more games. Right. So I should start out by showing off what I've done. Right, this here is the garage thing. Put a random sign on there saying do not enter. Got doors here. Inside, just made a little just wall of stuff. Not really doing anything, but it just looks cool. Yeah, I tried to make a little monster trucky type thing. I can't really build stuff in this game. And if I go upstairs, You'll see just big open vehicle bay. Hopefully if I ever build a decent flyer, it's going to go in here. Right, now I can head over towards here, where the door isn't supposed to be wide open. There is actually supposed to be... Oh, I needed that block on my hotbar. Ah, well, you'll see why in a minute. Right, get in my chair. So number one opens the door, number two and number three are both windows. So it's just again, number one, door is open. Number two, windows open. Number three, that's open. Right, and then four, five, six, and seven are all doors for the outdoor vehicle bay. Actually, uh, let's go out here. So yeah, all of these doors are hooked up to the main control panel. So let's just get all of these open. Now, over here is my first awful attempt at building a tank. I'm aware it looks nothing like a tank. Let's go to the other side so there's a bit more stuff there. Ta-da! Not really a tank. But I'm still proud of it. Okay, so I go in, close that, and yeah, it works, it turns, uh, it used to turn, hmm, I seem to have lost my ability to turn, there we go, then, unfortunately I haven't got those hooked together, hmm, what is connected to this, yeah, that bearing there, Oh wow. Okay, see this used to turn a lot more and then I made it too heavy and now that is all it can turn. Mm. What if I grab a controller? Put that there. Hook that to there. And then to there. No, nope, it's going to need to go to a switch. To the... God's sake. So, let's say turn 30 degrees on the click of the switch. Yeah, it still doesn't want to turn. Okay, I can deal with that later. At the moment, I'm actually pretty proud with this. It's not too cramped in here. And here is how I get upstairs. Ta-da. And this is the cannon. So, the, the loading and firing mechanism is a bit on the kind of crappy side. And of course, the person who fires it is sitting completely out in the open. But, there we go. Open that. Oh. Now that should slot in, there we go. And then what you do is take some wood, some sensors, and a thruster, excellent. Then I go like this, uh, put that there, oops, and like that. Then, hmm. Oh, I'm standing in the way, aren't I? 
Take that. Take that. Take that. And that. And then, of course, I'm going to need to make it a bit shorter. To leave room for the thruster. Okay, got that. Then, chuck a thruster. Oh. Chuck a thruster on there. And put two sensors on there, but only hook one of them up. Okay, that's fine. And then you go here and you remove that block. Cannon loaded. Careful not to walk over the sensor. Okay, I can bind it up and down. Right. Hmm, can't actually steer from here. So now go back down. And I'm going to try and shoot it at my base. Hmm. Okay, so it just doesn't want to turn right anymore. There we go. Okay, I'm up here. Right, that works, that's all working fine. And three, two, one. Huh. Oh yeah. Max power. Three, two, one. Whee! Shoots a projectile. It's definitely in need of some perfection, like a permanent way to have the thruster turned on, because at the moment I can just go like, I don't know, Do -do -do. then it's a bit of a tap, <laughs> anything going in front of it keeps it activated. Which is annoying because I'd love to have it just turned on permanently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are supposed to turn on somehow, is it? No? Yeah, I could turn the wheels on. Not sure why I did that, I was just bored. Whee! I like this thing. But that is really loud. Okay, let's turn that off. And that one. Have them till turned on. Only problem with the cannon, well, the projectile, is that it does kind of cause a lot of lag if there's loads of the projectiles lying around. I'm still pretty damn proud of that wall. Just clutter. It's so got a bunch of suspension wheels, engines, more suspension, cables, thrusters, bunch of pallets, engines, cones, bunch of nozzles, and you can go away. Go away. Right, what I want to try and build is a lift to take me up there, but not one that has to be, what is it, here permanently. Basically, I want it to fold away. So, if I, hmm, but let's do this out of concrete. So, where is the concrete? Here, right. So if I have the lift here, I'm going to want it big enough to hold the vehicle on it. So ideally, why is that at such a weird angle? I have no idea. Okay, and I'm going to want a lift here to get the vehicle up. So just a nice smooth slope on there. Well, I say smooth slope, it's just going to be rampy things. 
There we go. And there. Okay, so vehicle comes up. Ah, I have actually, in fact, put them in the wrong place because I shouldn't have put them on yet. Right, so I want it to. So this is going to be a pain to do because, well, basically, I have no idea how to do it. I'm thinking if I get some bearings and have bearing there, block there, line of blocks there, bearing there, line of blocks, bearing, line of blocks, so it'll work like a concertina kind of thing and just lift it straight up, in theory. Yep, why don't you go there? And this will be the last one, and attached to here will be the whole platform. Like that. Okay, I'm going to need a controller somewhere. Just hide that back there. Right, number one, number two, number three. Number four and five and six. So hmm. I want them all to lift up. Let's just chuck that there. So so if they all turn thirty degrees. I've no idea if this will work. Okay. Not entirely sure what I've done here. Ah, this one needs to go. Nope, that needs to go up. Oh, okay, so that one needs to be 60 in theory. Okay, and that one. So let's put number four. Wait, so put number two to 60. Okay, then number five to sixty as well. Hey, how you have to click the X on that? It's annoying. Um. Okay, so it almost gets out of. Ooh, number three to sixty. Number four to ninety. No, number four up to sixty as well. Ah, oh, nice. Actually worked. Awesome. <laughs> Holy crap, I made something that works. Ah, oh, it's just like one block short as well. Okay, and there's no way to get down. How about I put the switch on here? Okay, need to remove that from there. Chuck that up to here. Okay. I'm quite proud of this. So, you get on. And you get lifted up. I am going to need to add in, like, probably one more rotation. So, another bearing there, another line there, 
you just hold up, please. Thank you. Right, chuck that there. And give a command to the last one. Last one will probably be a 60, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Don't worry, people. Okay. Oh, oops. Too close to the edge. Okay, so. Get vehicle up on here. Press switch. Why is it the same place as before? Oh. Uh... Okay, that's not good. Number six. Hmm. So was number six not lifting it at all before then? Damn. Right, let's undo that. Make number five. Go a tiny bit more. Okay, and then give another 15 to number 6. And that should even it up. I think I might have just made this work. Perfect. Okay, let's test it with the car. Right, so, to get, what I've been doing so far to get my vehicles up there has been, I just place that down and then just stick it up through the roof. Bit cheaty, but it's been working. Okay, you could definitely do a decrease in the speed on that. And the platform needs to be bigger. Yeah, this won't work. <laughs> right, so, bigger platform. Right. Okay, so, what if there was a bearing there? That, like that. You come off. <sighs> Soon as there's a slightest bit of weight on it. Right, and I'm going to want that to come out uh, 90 degrees. No, 180, isn't it? Ah. Okay. That's a bit of an issue. Hmm. Attach it there. Remove that. Perfect. Uh, my switch. See, I'd like to have this one on a separate controller. Hmm. Right. You can, in fact, go to the... Then put this one on. One click, turns. 180 degrees and connect it to there. So, one click, 180 degrees, that folds out, get on here, hit that, lifts up, hit that to go down, 
Nice. And close. But I want this to be a little bit slower. Right. Is it big enough for just simple vehicle yet? Let's find out. Yes and no, but mainly no. Right. Go there. Oh no, I need that folded out so I can see the switch. Okay, um. Right, sorry people, but I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm just going to carry on tinkering, tinkering, tinkering with this. Because. Yeah, I just want to get my new computer. I'm getting sick to death of just using the laptop, which is gradually dying. So yeah, I built a tank, built a lot on the base, working on this lift thing. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.